Welcome back to the channel, okay. Today, coming to KFC to see what the difference is between KFC in the US and KFC here in Indonesia. Now, as you already can tell, it's a lot nicer. This one has a cafe, has a coffee shop in it right here. I mean, look how nice it is here. You don't, you real, you won't see these in the in the U.S. Check it out. I mean, everything is just insanely crazy. And look how clean it is compared to an actual KFC. Uh, you won't see this here, and, and you won't see this in the U.S. So there's two floors to this. We got the bottom floor, of course, the top floor up there. People sitting outside enjoying everything. But this is super clean. Let's go inside. Check it out. I mean, look how clean it is in here. You even have a kitty playground for kids to play at. It's actually pretty awesome. You have kids bring them here to play. Look at this. They sell kind of desserts, cakes. I never got those when I was in the U.S. Got these kids, look at a kids menu here. Sell spaghetti with oval team, cream soup, KFC soup, which is probably secret soup. This is fan this is a lot fancier than what it is in the US. That's for sure. We got some pudding here, mocha floats, barbecue spicy cheese fries right here. Salad, crocodile, a twisty. Man. All right, so let's go upstairs, get all the food here. All right, so we got a cafe here. They sell all kinds of things. They got some donuts, so coffee, KFC crushers. They have uh, double chocolate and cookies and cream, 15,000 rupee each, which is like a dollar ten ish. I haven't seen a coffee shop like this in a KFC before. It's actually pretty cool to see. Okay, so the original chop, choco nuts, double chocolate, cook crumbs, cheese, cooking cream, double chocolate, choco peanut donuts. Okay, so this is what I got right here. I got me uh, Oriental Bento uh, with chicken and rice in it. 
right there. Got individual snack things here. This one looks like it's got the pepper sauce in there, maybe. All right, so this is what I ordered today to try out. Uh, I have an oriental bucket here uh, with oriental sauce and rice in there. Uh, spicy cheese individual snack bucket right here. It's this grilled soy sauce right here. And this is barbecue flavor right here. Got some uh, lychee ice cream right here, which is actually unique. I never had lychee ice cream in, in the U.S. before. Uh, per deal is this right here, a little potato. This right there. And I ordered some, some barbecue flavor fries. All right, let's dig in. Okay, first thing I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna tackle into is this grilled soy sauce. Well, I've never actually tried grilled soy sauce on chicken before. Let's see, that's the texture of it right there. All right. Sweet, a little spicy, like, kind of like, um, I like, the, I like the fact that they're using the original recipe for the uh, the chicken, but that's really good. I like it. It's sweet on the front end and then it has a kick on the back end. And it has, it has a teriyaki flavor to it, but not overpowering teriyaki. You know, so it, it's actually, it, it blends well, it blends well together. I can I, I can see why this is getting to be popular. It blends in really, really well with it. Look at that. Just how that goes together. And they're not stingy with the meat portion size either. And this is this is an individual snack bucket right here. This could be someone's lunch. Why is this lot of okay. So far, not disappointed with the new flavors. All right, so this is a barbecue. Let me try the barbecue one here. I gave gave me individual forks for each thing, so try the barbecue one here. Soft right here. Can already tell the meat's gonna be tender. I think this is probably breast meat. Mm. Kind of sweet. I'm used to my barbecue house have that more tang, tanginess and more of a bite to it than this. This is more sweet, sweet than it is than it is tangy. It's not bad, but I mean it doesn't really give me that barbecue flavor that I was expecting from it. All right, let me try this one. This is the spicy cheese one. It looks like they coated it and maybe cheese powder. Yeah, it's cheese powder, I can smell it. Mm, look at that. I don't think you see the powder on there or not. It's like they coated it like you would like fry it with popcorn or whatever. And that's spicy. I get like a popcorn chicken, kind of, kind of feel from it, but as far as being spicy, nah, don't do it. I'm gonna try to dip it in this uh, sambal. See if that adds up uh, another notch here for it. Okay, yeah, the sambal helps. Cause you have kind of like a generic cheese powder taste to it. It's not really spicy. Maybe a little black pepper in the chicken. Not real spicy. Well, that was not bad. It goes good with the sambal. Oh, need a drink here. All right, so <clears throat> let me try my Oriental Bento here. The Oriental Bento, Teriyaki. 
with uh, rice. Come together right there. Mm. Hungry. There's nothing spicy. I have a little spice to it, but black pepperish. Rice is super thick. What's great about this is that you know these are these are stuff that you would not expect in the U.S. to have it at a KFC at United States. At least last time I was in America, I never uh, had it had it before. I, I I really like this grilled soy sauce one so far. This has been that's been on point. This is the fricadillo. This is the potato right here. Mmm. Mmm. Kind of like a meaty texture to it, but mm, I love it. I love potatoes, so I'm dipping the sambal here. Look, sambal. Dip it in the sambal. See how that tastes. Yeah. Oh, cool. Kind of um, different fries or potato chips into the um, sambal itself. We'll put that right there for a second. Now I'll move on to the fries. You see, we got the the fries here. Are these supposed to be barbecue fries now? I can smell barbecue. How do they taste? Regular fry? Just a regular fry. Just put a barbecue paste on it. Again, it's kind of sweet. I wish the barbecue sauce was being tangy. Having a little kick to it, but it just it doesn't. I don't know. It's not bad, but I'm trying to see if I get more, but now let me dip it into the, dip this into the sandball as well. <clears throat> in the sandball as well. It might help. Yeah. The sandball helps accentuate, helps bring out more of the flavor. But with that sambal, you get the sweet and spicy feel to it. But so far, this has been this is my favorite right now. Now, a unique thing about Indonesia, uh, you know, is that if you see this, this is not a burger. This is rice. KFC organic rice. As you can see. Uh, with the most chicken places, you know, that you come to in, 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 uh, here in Indonesia, they always serve chicken with rice. Uh, it's always fried chicken, and yet, but they have to have rice there. They have to have rice. Pukis, huh? Pukis. Okay, so these are called... Okay, so... Alright. Alright. So they, these are called pukis. These are called pukis, not, it's spelled P-U-K-I-S, so don't think it's pukis, it's pukis. That's what it is. They're like little um, fluffy pastries. Kind of like a, they almost look like a Twinkie sort of thing or angel food cake type of thing. I'm not sure which is which here. So I have a cheese one, I have an Oreo, chocolate, uh, and plain. But you know, it just come in different flavors here. I'm gonna grab this little plain one right here. This one looks good. Spongy, it's like a sponge cake type of thing here. Mmm, good. Has a has a sweet cornbread taste to it. This is good for good with coffee. This should be really good with coffee. As you can see. 
got this at the uh, coffee shop here in uh, KFC, so it makes sense that they would have this with coffee. All right, so what I have here now with me is the ice lychee ice cream. The lychee ice cream. I can smell the lychee. This is what it is right here. Here it is. Mm. Oh, that's uh, that's pretty, that's pretty good. I like it. I like it. I really like it. <clears throat> so I'm sitting here like, okay, so I wanted to wanted to come here and, and try out different things that they have at KFC here that they don't in America. And so far, as you can see, this diff it's just different. I mean, I'm feeling this grilled soy sauce one, man. I really am feeling it, y'all. This stuff is, I don't know, it just, at first I thought I was gonna be turned off by it. Well, The more I eat it, the more I like it. This almost tastes like a barbecue sauce type of thing. Look, they said so they deep fried the chicken and then barbecued it. That's really good. Oh, spicy chop. So I've been I've been recently seeing some of the comments on some of the videos in there on uh, on on, uh, on uh, YouTube my YouTube videos and I appreciate you guys commenting on it. I love it I love seeing it and everything um, you know just uh, you know, just keep it respectful to each other while you're on there that's one thing I know it's the internet so yeah. But it's good to see they're passionate about the food, uh, how they serve the food and everything. It's, it's great to see that you guys, that you, the viewers, are all passionate about it and everything. So recently I put out a podcast about me moving to Indonesia. Life in the U.S. versus life in, in Indonesia, right? I'm doing another podcast uh, tomorrow to talk about Indonesia specifically. You know, my life here in Indonesia, you know, what I've done, what I, you know, what my plans are for the future in Indonesia. Because, I mean, I do, I do love it here. I love trying these things because, I, I, you know what, I, half, half of these I wouldn't experience if I was still in America. I just, it just wouldn't happen. Oh man, it's good. I'm going I'm to try this barbecue one one more time. I'm going to dip it in the salmon ball here. I have a spicy cheese on back. This is like popcorn chicken with cheese powder. But it's great it comes in these individual cups that you can take away. They come with their own lids. So you just pop it on. A bing. What about your day? If you want to. But I'm. I'm really feeling it. <clears throat> All right, so this is this is the barbecue one. I, I I don't know what it is, but like I'm used to like really good. You know, when I think of barbecue, I'm thinking barbecue with like spicy, tangy. Has a has has a has a flavor. You know, it's barbecue sauce. It tastes like barbecue sauce. Yeah, it's a little sweet, but it also has that spice to it. Um. So the more I eat, the more I'm just not getting from it. Unless I dip it in the sandball here and then, here we go. I get my uh, spicy from it. <clears throat> now the bento one, the bento one is actually pretty good. This is a good lunch. For somebody, I got the perfect deal of potato over here, right here. Yeah. Mm. 
That is good. I am. What's different about uh, restaurants like KFC and the big food chains like KFC, McDonald's, Burger King, I mean, even like places like Carl's Jr., stuff like that, is that here in Indonesia, the places people like to hang out at, go on dates, you know, study after school at, <clears throat> in the U.S., it's just eat and run. That's pretty much it, or drive through. That's primarily what it is in the U.S., when it comes to the, these places and so that's what's very unique and like you come into these 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 places pizza hut dominoes the same thing you come into these restaurants here these big name western restaurants and they're super clean they even have an outside section for you to smoke at smoky non-smoking area people do it at it's, it's crazy it's completely awesome yeah, and I, I really like it. You can bring the family here if you want. Enjoy a nice meal, fried chicken. Order from them. Of course, always, I original, original recipe is the best chicken from Bob, from uh, KFC. <clears throat> I remember, like, um, I you know researching before, like there used to be, you know. Other fast fried, there's other fried chicken places. The way Indonesians is they love fried chicken here. They love ayam goreng. They love ayam goreng. <clears throat> um, they love fried chicken. So that's the great thing. Like they have a KFC, like every KFC or some other place, like every kilometer. Hello. They have a KFC, or, KFC or you know some kind of fried chicken place every kilometer. What you got, huh? What do you got? Oh, is that the chair? That's the chair? A little little co-star over here. So, in, like, where I'm from in the U.S., there's, there's no... You have a chicken place, it's, like, kind of run down. It's a little bit ghetto is a word, you know? And we have places like uh, Church's Chicken, Popeye's Chicken, places like that. <clears throat> you go in, and they can be clean, they can be dirty. Depends on who the staff is and how clean, clean they keep it. I mean, they even have, um, when you go in these places, they have, they, uh, it's like a food court. You'll have like a, a fried chicken place here, a hamburger place here, and, and taco place next to it. That is just like that. Di Kampung Saya, Di America, Ini Makanan Kampung. So yeah, this is, normal food for us in America and here it's you know, a little more upscale you kind of raise it to another level of things hey, but that's great that's great and I like the I like the ingenuity the, the the concept of getting you know making things better making it more interesting to fit the flavors of you know Indonesians and how they taste things what their food the food flavors are and everything but I'm telling you, I'm feeling, I'm feeling this right here, the soy sauce one. I'm feeling this one. This one is great. So if you haven't tried this one from KFC, I highly recommend it. It is on point. <clears throat> so the one thing I was plenty is rice. They love rice in Indonesia. Love eating rice. Like I, mean, I grew up on potatoes, beans, stuff like that. Coming to Indonesia, I don't think I've ever eaten so much rice in my life. Um, not a bad thing. Not a bad thing, right? It's not a bad thing eating so much rice. I mean, you know, at least I know it's organic rice. Most of the food in Indonesia is organic, anyways, because you know they don't put like you know. So the great thing about Indonesia, again, so many varieties to choose from. I decided to come to a, uh, a Western restaurant to, to show you what it looks like, my international viewers, to show what they look like. The difference between here and what's in, um, in, in America. You know, stuff like that, so pretty cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish up this food here. Um, 
I will put a description of all the food I ate here in the description box. If you have a favorite food from KFC or a recommendation from KFC of a food to try, let me know in the comment section as well. Because I'll, 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 I'll try that out. I'll try that out when I even check it out. Uh, don't forget that my social media information. Um, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, whatever social media platforms I'm on there. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Peace out.